Ali, the greatest comedian of all time. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> See, we didn't just learn from you from boxing. I learned, I used to watch you for comedy. And he used to predict knocking people out. Think about this. People wasn't fighting to win. They just didn't want to get knocked out when Ali said he was gonna knock them out. <laughs> and four, you gonna hit the floor. People like this, I'm going to five, Jack. I ain't getting hit. <laughs> I'm going, uh, I'm going to five. <laughs> And also, boxing is the only sport. See, basketball, football, I play basketball. You can blame a loss on your teammates. You know, you go out after the game. If they had passed me the ball, we might could have won the game. <laughs> and boxing, you can't talk about nobody. You gotta, and the thing is, they're waiting for you at the interview, too. You've been knocked out, and you come out, well, what happened? I got knocked down. <laughs> but you can't say it like that. Boxers never admit when they lose. You ever notice that? Boxers would never say, man, I got out of box, he beat me up. They come out there, his eye closed. I can't believe they stopped the fight. <laughs> Just because my eye was closed. I have trained with one eye for the last year. I was using the eye dope technique. <laughs> And Ali was a good dancer. He was the hammer of boxing. The man was the hammer of boxing. And as much as you dance in the ring, I've seen photos and videos of you dancing. You can't dance. The man can dance in the ring. He be in there. You get him on the club, he be. Ali, all off beat. I was ashamed. I said, champ, sit down. Champ, sit down. Had his own style. Hit somebody, champ! Hit somebody on the floor! <laughs> oh, man. But I love, I tell you, Muhammad Ali is, is something special, man. He lives around a place in Berrien Springs, Michigan, by my home. And we used to hear he would go to Baskin Robbins. This is the only man children would go out in the snow, 50 below zero, waiting to see this man. And the man would speak to, Ali, the only person, I guess you don't need a bodyguard when you beat people up. <laughs> himself to get ice cream and the kids and he would sign autographs for everybody and hit all the children sometimes you hit the children hard you didn't know Ali you you knock some of us down we he'd be playing boom like oh thanks thank Ali hey now don't help me up don't help me up I couldn't I couldn't train like a boxer could you see training like you got to train what eight nine months for a fight can you see that? Train him eight months and get knocked down in the first round? <laughs> How do you explain that to your family? <laughs> You've flown your family out to the fight. They're getting popcorn. All of a sudden, he's down. You're like, what? <laughs> I was trying to get a hot dog. When did he go down? <laughs> and then you, how are you going to give an interview after you get knocked down in the first round? I was in shape. My hands felt good. My face felt good. My legs just quit. They just quit. <laughs> That was the hardest 30 seconds of my life. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something that I've never said before. I tell you, I will box anybody for five million. Boxing has gone up so much in price, man. Ali, can you see the money they're making now? Give me five minutes, I'll fight anybody. <laughs> I'll fight you for five million. <laughs> and I'll just hit the floor when you come in. Fight! <laughs> Where's my check? Where's my check? And think about it, jump rope. Remember before, we used to think jump rope, jumping rope was for women. So I started watching boxes, man, y'all be. <laughs> and I tried that. You hurt a lot of children. <laughs> I went home. <laughs> you had a plastic rope hit you inside your face. I went to school with lacerations across my face. Because I wanted to be like Muhammad Ali. But tonight I want to say something. I've never said to the champ before, to me and mine, you are the greatest that ever lived. I tell you, man, I just, I love you. And somebody never ever tell you to now because you can't catch me. You got some fine daughters. I want you to know that. <laughs> fine. I love you, champ.